What up, what up, Gemini? This is going to be your November bone home reading. My favorite Gemini in the whole world brought me roses today, y'all. So I'm loving the Geminis today. It's fantabulous. You know, sometimes we got to deal with that that twin side of him. You never know which one you're going to get. But when you get that good one, boy, that good one be one to make you love on him forever. I know y'all understand what I'm talking about. Hold on, Geminis. Let me get all these charms in. Let's see what we have coming in. This is a great, great month for ancestral veneration, All Saints Day today. And then we have uh, the Gede, their feast day. So this is a good time. This is good energy. So let's see what they're bringing into this reading, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini spirit. Any guidance, any messages for November? Any guidance, any messages, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini for November? Ooh. All right. So first thing that catches my eye is new home, but this could also, because it's in the love sector, could be improvements to your home. It also could be somebody moving in with you, talking about moving in with somebody else. A lot of times this is doing something passionate to your home, but watch your money because we do have concerns about money that is coming in. Um, oh, bullet casing in the car, in the travel section. Be careful and look how your crosses are surrounding this bullet casing, which means that some of you, there definitely could be some type of accident that you have to deal with. So please drive carefully, but it's showing that you were protected. The cross has created a barrier around you. I am getting um, some travel that may require a lot of communication. So some of you may travel for work and you may have to talk. There are more opportunities that are opening up for you, but it could even be spiritual opportunities, spiritual or religious opportunities. If you are a pastor or if you're doing something in the church, if you are a spiritual advisor, you definitely have some things that could possibly be opening up for you that may require a little bit of travel. Um, I am getting in your good set work, spell work sector. There is somebody there. But we have possibly you trying to pin somebody down or maybe because the handcuffs there. Some of y'all might be getting freaky, freaky with some people. I'm trying not to imagine my son doing anything like that nasty because he's an angel. You know, he's just pure. <laughs> if y'all can see my face, I can't even keep a straight face on the purity part of it. That's what I would like to believe. If this is not y'all, some of y'all might have somebody who want to do some nasty things to y'all, but they might be trying to bind you. Now, it may not be a bad thing because it's in the good luck sector, which could be meeting somebody that you really want to connect with. Like you don't mind being attached to, you don't mind spending time with them. Um, so this is not a negative thing for some of you. If you are freaking the sheets, this might be somebody that's really into some of that bondage stuff. Like, the safety pin and the handcuffs, like that's freaky deep, Gemini. I know I dated one, only one, y'all. And he was, whoo, Lord have mercy. He was swinging from the ceiling fan. I didn't even know what to say. So I, I've seen this energy up close and personal and it is not a bad energy. Take your vitamins. If you're a cross watcher and you're dealing with this type of Gemini, take your vitamins. If you are freaky deaky and you think you're going to shock the Gemini, don't even worry about it. They've been here before. <laughs> they they have been, trust me, they've been here before. Okay, spell work sector, we definitely have blocking something. Spirit is saying that you have some type of issue that could be coming in, but I do feel like you're trying to block it. For some of you, the penis is coming across into that. We definitely have some limitations. Could be too that you're trying to keep limited things um or keep things limited with people some of you the question mark is here with the love sector you may have somebody it's interesting because you may be manifesting somebody back for some of you not all of you or you could be manifesting somebody new in but we have question marks about transformation maybe this is somebody who's like i've changed i'm different i'm going to do something different but have they really changed so we have if you're manifesting something you're going to see 
the fruits of your labor in possibly a day, a week, or a month. And I feel like less than a year. Let me see. Some of you, you have a lot of spirit that is around family. There's a lot of spirit protection that comes in. The sun card, the sun charm, I'm sorry, is here. And then we have the sword. Some of you, you could be trying to really guard or protect your emotions on one end. A few of you could be um, protecting the child. We do have somebody that looks like there's a little bit of a handicap or something going on with this one because the legs are never straight with this one. So this one may be a person that is really trying to get on their foundation, but maybe their confidence is not strong. Doesn't have to be a child though. This could be an adult. This could even be a representation of you because the crown is upside down and it's like, I'm trying to build my confidence up or I'm trying to feel a little bit more strongly. Um, you may find out about some type of surgery that may be coming in, possibly female problems that may need to be dealt with. Um, with the sun here though, whatever this is, it's not making it as intense or harsh as it could be. So if there is a surgery and we do have maybe like a car accident or some type of accident with traveling, which I pray safe travels and protection over you. Um, there may be something, possibly some dental work or some teeth things that need to be dealt with because of this. Could be traveling to get some type of dental work or some type of surgery done. Um, but I do feel like with the sun charm that there is recovery or improvement over it. If you've been feeling a little bit... Um, not confident you got tons of spirit communication coming in and they probably are trying to show you the positive aspects of yourself with the sun charm here could be get a hold of your emotions if you've been all over the place with your emotions now air signs typically don't oh it depends you know um i would say out of all the air signs gemini are probably i'm not going to say the least emotional list i think they are more sensitive than than libras are but they hide it better so i would say for some gemini's this could be like being very mushy gushy on the inside but with the sword don't fuck with me type energy and then with the crown upside down i'm a little insecure so there's a lot of layers that could be coming on with some of you um, and you may have some family stuff that kind of brings this out, that brings all your layers out, your emotions, your protection, your protective nature, and then also maybe feeling like I'm not doing the best that I can. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up, Gemini. These are just cycles that you're going through. And spirit is like, we're here with you. You're not by yourself. Now, we possibly do have travel long distance travel that is going to be coming in spirit seems to be with you um some of you could be flying over water traveling over water because we have a mermaid here it could also be a water spirit too that walks very closely with you or a very strong connection with water spirits because we have the mermaid that is literally um she's attached to this emblem of mother mary so this is like a spirit connection. Pay attention to when, if some of you are drawn to water, water elements like beaches or lakes, pay attention to messages that come to you. I think with the evil eye right here that you could have a water spirit or a spirit that's trying to tell you that you need to watch your back with some people. This could also mean that, especially if you're traveling, that you may need to watch your back with some things or a person of a different race or a different culture, you may need to watch your back. We have the sun again. This is right next to school and communication. And then we have the road opening key right in the middle, which means you have opportunities that are coming in. I would say there, especially with money, the anchor is there, your purse is upright. There may be some help from friends. Um, there was a little bit of stress. It looks like with money, but it looks like that you're gonna pull it through and it looks like it actually gets better. From now until the next four months, there's an increase coming in financially with money. Um, anchor is there. Some of you may be struggling a little bit thinking, oh, my, my security is not right. I need to do this. I need to do that. The anchor is there. It's upside down. It needs to be upright. But the purse is upright, which means when it comes next to you about money, the money is coming in, which I think will give you more security. 
some of you may be going back to school and that could be where there's a little bit of possibly a lot of thought about the security like is this the right time for me to go to school is my money going to be all right and it looks like that you may get some help from friends there may be com conversations about something with going to school spirit is showing in your spirit messages you got money coming in some of you with the doctor bag this could be going in for a medical career you could be a healer you could be doing something with healing some of you could be spiritual healers or religious healers um the love thing is a little funky we got question mark on top of that and then we also have the mask which means be really careful with love interest some of you you could be dealing with somebody that's like i changed i changed you know you heard some things about me the question mark is literally i don't know if you change and then the mask is like mm, i can see that you haven't some of you may be changing and you just don't even connect with this person anymore but we do have your heart upside down and it could be that maybe you're not sure how this person that's coming into your life what do they really want? I mean, we got freaky deaky over here. We definitely got a connection over here with the penis, whether you're male or a female, there is a sexual connection that is coming in. And then there's this butterfly, which is new beginnings and transformations and everything beautiful. But with the question mark, you're like, not really sure if this is, <clears throat> excuse me, really what it is. And then with the heart upside down, it may not be. Your eye is up. So take your time with love things. I'm not going to say that it's the worst thing in the world. They could turn into something more if they want to. If they're wearing a mask, though, you could be dealing with somebody that is like, you know, they want to impress you, but then they may not be able to hold it up. Let's see. Yeah, they may not be able to hold it up. So take your time with love. See, look at things clearly. There is travel coming in. Some of you, you have somebody who's planning on traveling to see you. Um, interesting, the ancestors are on top of this airplane upside down. Now, and then we have the demon head. <laughs> Spirit. So here's the deal. This may be different people. This could be the same person. I, I feel multiple energies. Um, some of y'all might be doing freaky deek, but maybe I don't want to move closer or forward with this because I'm not sure if this person is really, you know, who they say they are. And then two, they might just be a little bit too much freaky deek for you. I'm not sure. The penis is though showing that you're trying to, you know, whatever it is, you're trying to handle it, male or female. But then we got over here, we got somebody that could be to the side and travel is on top of them um but the spirits may not be really feeling this person so if you're dealing with somebody who's coming long distance gemini your spirits may not like this person we got demon head next to it um there may be other issues that they're bringing with them that you don't see and then we do see conversation and it's interesting Whenever I see the chicken, uh, the chicken next to the demon head, this is conversation, but it could be very verbally abusive conversation. And spirit is looking at this. Spirit sees everything. So if you have somebody who's trying to fake the funk and they're talking sweet, and spirit is like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like I, I was telling somebody this thing, I think today having a dinner with somebody and in my head i heard this person is full of bullshit bullshit and i heard it so loud i thought somebody said it next to me and i kind of looked around and everybody was still talking and i was like okay then i heard it again bullshit and i realized that it was coming from my head right when i heard it the person looked at me like they heard it too talk about awkward but it was spirit. And I think that the person at the time when I started paying attention to the conversation, it was bullshit. Like they were just saying a bunch of shit, trying to impress people. And my spirits were already, before they even got good into the conversation, my spirits were like, yeah, we, mm -mm. yeah, don't even, don't put energy into it. This though, this is abuse. And then we do have it under the bad spell work. And this could be gossip where somebody is trying to, maybe embarrass you or make you feel 
frame it. All right, so I'm sorry about that, you guys. Um, be careful of somebody who's verbally abusive. We definitely get conversations that may not be comfortable. Um, some of you could be falling out with a lover. Some of you could be falling out with a friend. Some of you, co-worker. Um, I feel like if there's somebody, the chicken, whenever I see the quack, 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 chicken, I know that wasn't didn't even sound right, but this is somebody that you, they love to talk. Maybe they like to listen to themselves talk. Um, and it could be very sweet. It could be very charming. There may be something that you get out of it. But then the demon head is so close to it, it's almost like it could turn negative. Now, this could be an aspect of you, because if you've ever talked to a Gemini, um, if you catch them on a good day and they're they're nice and everything like that, it's a wonderful, wonderful conversation. If you've ever had tried to have a conversation with a Gemini that is upset, and I mean upset, upset, it, you, you just need to leave them alone and let them go to their corner and re you just retreat. Because they can get very volatile, their words. If I, I Libras um, definitely can cut with words. I think um, most air signs can be very, very verbally abusive because it doesn't take a lot for us to bring it up. Because uh, it's always, we overthink everything, it's always at the surface. And we run scenarios. If you say this, I'm going to say that. If you do this, then I'm going to do this. If you say something negative to try to cut me down, I'm going to snatch your motherfucking soul. <laughs> that's that's how air signs think. We're all, we're ready. We have these whole things already in our mind. We're just waiting for somebody to piss us off. This is this energy. So if you're dealing with somebody like that, where it could be like there's a differences of opinion and you don't want to argue with them, don't. Spirit is already kind of giving you the indication that you might not want to go forward with this conversation. Now, I do feel like that there is protection over this, which means that, you know, it's not going to be something that I think results in like a physical altercation. This just looks like a bad argument or disagreement with someone that may just kind of carry on. It may carry on and float for a little bit before there is reconciliation, if there is reconciliation, because you're looking at people around you. And you're trying to figure out, are they changed? Are they good? Are they worth my energy? And some of you, you might be looking at people and thinking, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't like the conversation. We don't connect anymore. And I'm cutting ties. Um, because especially if they make you feel like your crown is upside down, there's an energy of, I'm not feeling good. Then you might have to cut away some things. And we do have some evil eye energy where there definitely looks like there's a little bit of conflict. Watch your back with people this month. Watch your back. I do see that you are side-eyeing a lot of people. You do have many opportunities coming in. Spirit is talking to you. Pay attention and trust your intuition. They're telling you some things. If you're looking for a new job or a new opportunity or if there's a settlement or something you're waiting on, you have money that is coming in, but protect your money. There's a little bit of gossip, but I wouldn't even worry about it. The best bill work thing is showing me that somebody knows to get to you all they, they need to talk about you. Now, typically, gossip doesn't deal too much with Geminis, unless you're very, very sensitive. Most Geminis that I know, you could talk about them to their face, and they wouldn't even break a sweat because it doesn't affect all of them like that. But you could be a very sensitive Gemini. Definitely shows that somebody is using some type of magic against you. And with it being in the negative spell work sector, this is not good wishes. So some of you, whether you believe in it or not, there's a witch in the midst. There's a witchy, witchy poo. Demon head is down here and spirit is in between, which means that spirit is telling you everything this demon head is doing. They're already giving you insight. Conversation is open, completely open. They're even over here. They're everywhere. Pay attention to the messages that you get. Trust your intuition with people. Um, let's see. Some of you, you do need to play in your, in your um, health, healing heart. There's a little bit of needing more activity. Be careful of your energy level too. The skeleton hands are in your heart or your health sector. And that's like somebody trying to grab your health. Somebody vampiric energy somebody trying to you know grab your energy and it can be done 
And for some of us, we open the door. How can I help you? What do you need? What do you want me to do? And the next thing you know, you're laying in your bed for two days. I'm exhausted. And it's because you're opening yourself up to uh, the wrong people. Some of you definitely could be a female energy. And then we do have a child up here because this child wants to play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. So for some of you, you have a smaller, could be a baby, could be a little um, person. But it's like, let's play, let's play, let's play. Um, and that could be draining on your energy. Some of you, this could be a full adult woman that is draining on your energy. So watch your health. Definitely watch your health. And especially with travel, some of you could be going places where the climate is going to change. So make sure that you're watching yourself there. I do see some jealousy in your money sector. Um, some of you, you have the potential to make money with friends, with groups that you're really connected to, with people that you're really connected to. So I will say, be prepared that there may be an opportunity that comes in with a friend that's really good for you because spirit is already showing that you have money that's coming your way. But this energy over here and this evil spell work, there's definitely somebody who's trying to work something on you. And the thing is, is that I don't think this person is very nice anyway. So it's like, you know, the conversation may not be a good conversation with them, which means that, you know, if you already got somebody that's talking to you crazy, then you probably need to start pulling away. That could be family. That could be a co-worker. That could be a friend. You know, it's, I think it's one of those things, like I love my mom to death, but all last month, she was like, you're getting fat. You're getting fat. You're getting fat. And I was like, oh. like, you really don't need to tell people that. <laughs> like, I don't think that it's, it's almost like when, like when you're gaining weight, I don't know why people think that you don't see that you're gaining weight. So it's like, you don't really need to share that with me because you're making me feel some kind of way about it, especially if it's everything that's coming out of your mouth. And she was like, I'm just doing this for you. No, you're not. Like, you're not doing it for me. Because if you were doing it for me, you'd buy me a gym membership. You, 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 you know, sign me up to a meal prep class or something like that. But telling me that I'm getting fat is not doing anything to me, but making me want to eat more ice cream. So sometimes you have people that are verbally, they don't see themselves as verbally abusive or that their words are negative towards you. But it could be, and it could affect you in a way. So some of you, the, 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 the magician or the magic could also be that they're using gossip or a conversation to make you feel very uncomfortable or make you doubt yourself. And if y'all noticed or if you've seen me the whole month, I was feeding my face because it was like, I don't give a shit. It's my birthday month. I'm going to eat. And if I get fat, my ass get fat. And then when I want to work it off, I'll work it off. And that's an air sign energy. But. Some of you may be doing it. You may be telling somebody that, and that's where conflict comes in. Yeah. You can barely do anything with it. It may not be worth it. Like, I love my mom and I just want to talk to you back. It's just, I'm not going to get a family in a minute. It is what it is. So, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We definitely have you starting off with good, good energy, something moving in your direction. And then all of a sudden, you get this star card, and it's like, all of a sudden somebody saw you living your life good or you were living your good your life good and i don't think this was self-sabotage could be but then we have the five of pentacles poverty hardship spiritual poverty some of you may even be doubting your religious or your spiritual connection this could also be too that you were doing good and then you hit a brick wall and for some of you this could have been an accident with a vehicle where it's like i gotta put money out now, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, new opportunity, atonement, improved situation. Whatever this was, it was like I'm moving along, do, 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 bam. I got this situation that came in. I got to deal with it, but I'm moving forward. And it looks like that whatever the situation is, thankfully, improved. Some of you, you have a new love that's coming in, and that could be that freaky deep person that's kind of coming in. Two of Pentacles juggling. We got juggling money, juggling people, going around in circles, making you need to make a decision. Some of you may be talking to more than one person, or you could have more than one person that's interested in you. Some of you too may be spread a little bit thin because you're trying to do too much. 
Now we do have going to school, we have a move that's in there and we have money opportunities that are coming in. So it could just be getting more structured with the direction that you're trying to go. But it could be too that I'm watching my pinnacles or my coins very, very closely. Queen of Pentacles is definitely showing money coming in. You could be connecting with somebody in an organization or some type of project or something um, where you're worried about the budget, your money, also your participation in it. Knight of Pentacles, inflexible, stubborn, hard worker, disliking change, which means that you could be connecting with somebody that you can make money with or you could be doing an event with, but it's like, is this person more, are they flexible enough? You could be butting heads with somebody. Now, I wonder if that's the verbal thing where we have somebody that could be talking to you because it's like, I don't want to change. I don't want to, um, I hear what you're saying, but I, I, I don't want to go in that direction. So if you're working on a project with somebody, you may have somebody that you could make money with, or there's recognition there, or you could do something big with this person. But this person may be very set in their ways where they don't want to bend. Yeah, Hierophant organization. This could be a financial organization. This could be a business. This could be um, an event. And then we have King of Swords, reverse overbearing. Um, somebody that is like, it's going to be my way or it won't happen. And it depends on who you're dealing with. If it's somebody that you care about, you may be more flexible with this person because you care about them. If it's somebody that maybe you work with, there may be some competition, a butting of heads. Four of Wands, achievement, partnerships, good, celebration. So here's the thing. It looks like that some of y'all are going to come across somebody that you got some type of plans with. There's some growth that's coming in with this person and there may be this this power struggle because Geminis are not weak. A lot of people think because y'all are quiet sometimes that you don't say much that you're easy to walk over and you're not, <laughs> you are not somebody that can be walked over. So even though it may not look like a competition between a Leo and a Sagittarius or a Leo and a Libra or something like that, there is maybe some competition that's coming in, but you're like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to deal with you the best way that I can so that I can get the outcome that I want. So you're going to manipulate it, manipulate it to move in the direction that you want in a very quiet, unassuming way to get past this person. And then we see two of swords, reverse, action, inner peace, um, and confidence, moving forward with confidence. Five of swords, whoa, what happened? Termination, reaction, regret, making amends. Ah, the person that you had the argument with. We don't agree on what we're doing. I think this way, you think that way. I'm going to go ahead and say what I need to say, and I'm going to move it in the direction that I want to move it. And it looks like you do. You put action and you feel very confident in what you do. And then we have this termination or ending. Um, there are regrets. So if you have somebody that you had a fight with, they regret it. They do. If there was an altercation with somebody where there was competition and it got a little bit too much, they regret it. But you don't, you don't care. Two of Cups reverse is like you're still not satisfied. It's like I said what I said, and I know that you're coming in after the fact. So maybe you pulled away from this person and then this person reached out to you and was like, okay, let's go ahead and work this out. And you're like, I hear what you're saying, but now I'm looking at you differently. Because I feel like there's something going on. And we do see with Two of Cups reversed, there's envy, there's jealousy. That's probably what started the argument because somebody was a little bit envious of what you were doing, or they want to be like you, or there's an energy of, um, I want to have or do what you do. And you kind of pulled back and was trying to be very nice to them be like, okay, you know what? Let me work with you, but I'm going to get my way. And you did. And this person may see this now, Knight of Wands, property. We got a move coming in and we do see that on there. So what is going on with this? So we have definitely some type of quarrel, some type of altercation. Some things were said. Jim and I was like, I'm getting my way anyway. It's going to move in my direction because I want peace. I don't want drama. 
And then I'm going to terminate this relationship for you from a little bit so that you can think about how you upset me. And I'm going to let you figure it out. The person did. And then they come back in and we get miscommunication. We get jealousy. Moving on. Some of you could be getting a different job. If you, if this is a roommate situation or somebody you share a space with, it's like, I'm going to be moving in a different dire direction. Yeah. Three of Cups reversed, withdrawn untrustworthy people, loss of friends, loss of a group. I don't, I don't trust you. High priest is my intuition. Spirit all around is telling me to look at you. Temperance. I'm finding balance. Queen of cups. Then we have a seductress comes back in envious, needy, jealousy. No, 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 no. Gemini don't pull away from me. Pay attention to me. I need you. Gemini don't put me out in the cold. And you're like, nope, you showed me a negative side of you. I don't want to deal with it. King of Pentacles, this person comes in, maybe they flaunt a little money, some gifts your way. Some of you are moving in a different direction now. And it looks like with the Nine of Pentacles, getting something that you asked for and you prayed for, wish fulfilled. So here's the thing. If this was a job and you were doing your job and you had somebody who had an issue with you and there was a verbal altercation or something that came in, this person went head to head with you and they lost. They did. And when after they lost, they saw that you were moving forward. And it's like, well, let me go ahead and make up with Gemini because she may be or he may be my boss one day. They're over my head. And to get promotion, I need to make up with them. And then they come back and you're like, no, I know why you're coming back. You're trying to play me. High Priestess is showing me everything I need to know. I'm trusting my intuition. Spirit is talking to me. The Temperance card is showing that I have balance on top of me, moderation, clarity. And then this person goes, well, let me turn up the heat a little bit more with this Queen of Cups reverse seductress. Envy, needy, jealousy, vengeance, hiding emotions. I'm going to be your friend, Gemini. I'm going to be your friend because you deserve a friend like me. But really, underneath the surface, they're pissed at you because you, you took something away from them. King of Pentacles, possibly a job, a position. Nine of Pentacles, getting something you prayed for, you wished for. That can't be you. They wanted something you had and they can't get it. So now they're trying to figure out a way to either make amends with you to ride the coattail or either they're trying to fake you out so they can come in and try to come over you. It's not going to happen. If you're a cross watcher, you're not going to get past Gemini. They're very, very smart people. Very, very smart. They don't talk a lot, but they know every fucking thing they do. I don't know how they do, but they do. So if you're a cross watcher and you're like, I'm going to get over Gemini, you're not. In fact, Gemini is going to get some money and then they're probably going to flaunt it. <laughs> not, not tactfully though. They're not tacky. You know, they might buy a new house or they might remodel their house or buy a new car or something, or, you know, wear a new suit to work just to let you know that, uh, I won bitch. I won, but it'll be subtle because that's how they operate. They don't have to get loud. They don't have to make a big show of, of strength because they are thinkers. They can outthink people. And spirit is helping them. High priestess is showing. Remember where I showed you where spirit was between you and that person? Because spirit was telling you, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to messages that are coming in. The spirit is showing you everything that you need to know about somebody around you. Mm hmm. Well, 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 it, it's, it's, I, uh, every sign has their strengths. Every sign does. Gemini are thinkers. They are. And if you are coming at them with the purpose of trying to outplay them or outthink them, if you are not on that level, you're going to get schooled in a major way, in a major way. And some of you, if you're cross watchers, you're going to get schooled. A few of you Gemini's, that could be why this person, you're like, okay, they have a mask. I'm looking at you. You're coming back. But I'm questioning why you're coming back. Why do you want to be my friend? Why do you want to be in my life? Why do you want to work on this project with me? Because spirit is letting you know that there's something shady and sneaky about somebody that you're dealing with. And it's like, you need to be careful. They may try to throw you off with gossip, but you can outthink them. Don't get caught up in that Gemini. Some of you are already hip to the situation. You're just playing it out slowly. You could even be toying with this person, like a mouse with a, a cat with a mouse. Like, I'm just going to play with you a little bit. 
because I already figured you out. It is what it is, Gemini. I would say watch it back, but I think you already got it under control. So take care of business, Gemini. Oh, I love